Is there a limit to the amount of solute that will dissolve in a given solvent? Let's find out. James Villanueva will now prepare a solution of copper sulfate in 100 milliliters of water. As long as solute continues to dissolve in the solvent, the solution is said to be unsaturated. More and more solute can be added to an unsaturated solution at a given temperature until a solubility limit or saturation point is reached. The solution is now said to be saturated. Solubility is the maximum amount of solute that can dissolve in a specified amount of solvent at a given temperature. Beyond this point, adding more solute means more undissolved solute. At 28 degrees Celsius, a maximum of 24.3 grams of copper sulfate dissolves in 100 grams of water. This is the solubility of copper sulfate in water at this temperature. In a saturated solution, equilibrium occurs between the solution and the undissolved solute. Two processes take place simultaneously. As the undissolved solute dissolves in solution, the dissolved solute crystallizes out of solution at an equal rate. Recall how we prepared a supersaturated solution of nickel sulfate in an earlier episode. First, we prepared the saturated solution of the solid in a liquid at a high temperature and cooled it, making sure to leave it undisturbed. A supersaturated solution is unstable because it contains more than the solubility limit of solute at equilibrium. Seeding the solution with a crystal of the solute results in the formation of larger crystals within a few days. The same thing happens when a plane seeds clouds in order to induce rain. Silver iodide and dry ice, solid carbon dioxide, serve as seeds or nuclei for condensing the water vapor in air.